how to replace the front sway bar end link on your Chevy Impala. I am Steven Wimberly and this is Working with Wimberly. To remove the factory sway bar end link, we just need to get the nut off at the top. And then on the back side, there's an identical nut on the bottom. The nut is an 18 millimeter. And in order to stop it spinning, we need a T40 Torx bit that goes in the middle. And we'll get this factory one off and get the replacement on. So right here you'll see me switching to an 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench. This makes the job a little bit easier if you have one, but if not, you can just use the standard 18 millimeter wrench. If you find that the sway bar end link won't come out easily or if it's at a weird angle, what you're probably going to need to do is jack up the other side of the car as well. You can't see it on camera, but that's what I did. So if you have both front wheels lifted off of the ground, it'll be much easier to install and uninstall the sway bar end link. The aftermarket end link that I installed was different than factory, so instead of a T40 and an 18mm wrench, I actually needed two 18mm wrenches to tighten down the nut. One wrench to tighten the nut, and one wrench to prevent it from spinning. And this job is done. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. God bless you all.